we got a new beta for Minecraft Bedrock, which was 1.17.20.21. And within this new beta, we did get a few bug fixes here and there, but we also got a new feature for structure blocks, which I'm going to show you on how to use in today's video. If you enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing as it helps out quite a bit and shows your support for the channel. Thank you. Right here is the command to get yourself a structure block. This was originally the way that we could save our structures. We can just come inside of here, go to the save section, type in our name, whatever it is. I'm just going to call this desk. We have our size, we have our offsets. If you wanted to include mobs, then you can just go and turn that on or off. When you move blocks, it will just remove all the blocks. Then we have redstone save mode. And if you didn't know, you can actually save structures by using redstone. So let's say I wanted to save a little bit of this portal. I'm going to place down the structure block, then we have all these blocks right here. I'm going to click on save, I'm going to place down our structure block, then I'm going to type in the same name, and then I'm going to change this to load. Now I'm not going to click on the load button though. I'm going to back out, grab a wrestling torch, then as you can now see, we have all of our structure right here. Corner mode is going to be a very useful thing. The one thing I've always hated, if I ended up placing down the structure block, I would have to go ahead and fill in the sizes, and then the offsets, and it was just a big old annoyance. However, if I go ahead and type in the name, I'm going to keep it just like that. And I need to place down our first corner right here. Then I'm going to click on this, change this to corner, and we need to type in the same name. So we have our first corner right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and I'm going to put this in our second corner. So I'm going to pop up here, place down our corner block, and as you can see, we got ourselves the same name inside of there. I'm going to come to our structure block, I'm going to come and click on detect where we place down our corners. All of those parts of the structure is going to be inside that little box. And it's actually very useful because this means that you don't have to mess around with all the sizes or the offsets. We'll do all that for you, which I absolutely love. It's going to be a big time saver for anybody using structure blocks. But if you really wanted to, you can still go and edit all of this any way that you want. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is going to be structure voids. To get a structure void, it's going to be this command right here. And this will basically remove any air around a certain area. So normally if I were to go ahead and save the structure and I go ahead and generate it somewhere inside the world, then it would end up removing blocks around the area that is generating in. So we're going to place down our structure right here. So our structure is all the way over here and it will generate right by this tree. If I come inside of here, I'm going to click on load, and then if I click on load, then arcs are now deleted. But however, if you add structure voids inside of that structure, then you would not have this problem. And right here, we're replacing all air blocks with our structure voids. If I go ahead and press enter, then we now have structure voids all in this area. It may not look like it, but the moment I hover over the void, yeah, they all appear all at once, and it really does hurt you guys quite a bit. But if I go and come down here again, I'm going to click on save. We have all of our structure voids inside of there. And normally that it would end up getting removed. If I come down here and I click on load. And I click on load right here. Then as you can now see. We have no big huge air pocket around that area. Where we put the structure voids. It ended up just keeping the blocks. And now the structure is inside of the area. But if I did not have any structure voids. Then this whole area would just end up getting removed. And with that being said. That is how you use structure blocks in the newest beta for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And I do want to hear your comments on what you think of this new feature. And if you enjoyed today's video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're around here, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload. And I will catch you next time. Goodbye.